we will also update Arkansas's Freedom of Information Act. Arkansas FOIA laws have been largely unchanged since they were signed in 1967, in a time before email, cell phones, text messages, and sadly, before some of the more aggressive polarization that we see across our country today. Arkansas has some of the most transparent FOIA laws in the country, and these reforms will do nothing to change that. But some are weaponizing FOIA and taking advantage of our laws to hamper state government and enrich themselves. They don't care about transparency. They want to waste taxpayer dollars, slow down our bold conservative agenda, and frankly, put my family's lives at stake. The last point is very personal. I had to deal with credible death threats when I was in the White House, becoming the first White House press secretary in the history of our country to require Secret Service protection, something that is generally reserved for the president, the vice president, and their families. When I was campaigning for this office, we had violent people track our movements to try to do us harm. A man near Russellville was arrested for threatening to shoot me. And just last month, a man in Oklahoma pled guilty for trying to kill me. Our current FOIA laws put me and my kids at risk. So we will update sections of the law so that the sources and methods Arkansas State Police uses to protect me and my family outside of the governor's mansion are not subject to disclosure. This will function the same as current law, which makes it so that those same sources and methods used within the, within the grounds of the mansion cannot be released. In keeping with our mission of transparency, we will also add a requirement that on a quarterly basis, Arkansas State Police will prepare a report for the legislature that aggregates the cost of security for the first family. We are also updating our laws to the same standard that the federal government uses to keep internal deliberations in the executive branch exempt from FOIA. Right now, a Chinese state-owned company operating in Arkansas could use their employees to FOIA for internal government documents. Somebody suing the state of Arkansas can FOIA our attorneys to determine our legal strategy. That's not just crazy. It's a waste of taxpayer resources. We will end this practice and bring Arkansas in line with federal law and the laws of other states, ranging from New York and California to Oklahoma and Alabama.